recap. A look at the last week of the Oklahoma State Government. I'm Macy Ellerick. This week began with big goals from the State Governor. The state of our state is growing in strength, stability, and new opportunity for generations to come. We are moving in the right direction, the direction we all want to go, top 10 in the nation. Governor Kevin Stitt outlined his plan for the upcoming year. He promised further investment in education, including $30 million more for the Oklahoma Equal Opportunity Education Scholarship Act. That program provides tax credits to private donors who fund scholarships that students can use at private schools. Critics say this plan robs public education, while supporters say it bolsters school choice. Another big issue is the governor's new plan for the expansion of Medicaid in Oklahoma. He's calling it the Sooner Care 2.0. The plan would bring more federal dollars, but falls short of the expansion plan supported by many Democrats. For an insider's look at the upcoming session, we turn to our Lawmaker of the Week segment with ENN's Abby Nichols. Hi, I'm Abby Nichols, and I'm here with Representative John Eccles. Uh, what are the big issues today? Well, the big issues this session are going to be health care. That's going to dominate uh, this session. We'll do a lot with the governor's new request for block grants, uh, whether or not we need to raise any, uh, any of the shop fees that we access to pay for that. Um, Native American issues are going to be a big issue. Uh, what are we going to do with the compacts that are coming through? And as always, education is a huge issue. That, that hasn't changed under my four years as floor leader, and, and what we're going to be doing with Common Ed is going to be a big issue this year. So where are your personal bills at? Yeah, so my priority is this legislative session. I'm going to focus a lot on criminal justice reform. Uh, we're trying to lower the recidivism rate. So we'll do some things to help uh, prisoners who are leaving the system get their driver's license when they leave. Uh, we'll do some things to move fines and fees off of the backs of inmates and so we don't have that perverse incentive in the criminal justice system. And then as always, I'm real focused on government efficiency. Uh, so the governor's talking a lot about should we find consolidation, where should we find it, uh, things in uh, dealing with public employees. Those will be my main focuses this year. And then, of course, as floor leader, I'm responsible for everything. So make sure that the trains run on time, so to speak. Thank you, Representative Eccles. Now, back to you. Thanks, Abby. Each week, a &N will feature a different lawmaker. If you have any questions for your lawmaker, post them in the comments and we'll get an answer. The legislative session got off to a big start by tackling a controversial bill Thursday. House Bill 1182 would revoke the medical license of any doctor who performs an abortion. The sometimes heated and emotional questions and debate lasted more than two hours before the bill passed along party lines 71 and 21. That bill now goes to the Senate for consideration. There are hundreds of education bills in both the Senate and House. Some of those would impact schools like ours, Epic Charter Schools. Most of the bills are looking for increased funding for public education. One bill is aimed at reducing the teacher shortage. Senator Adam Pugh's bill would allow the state to recognize out-of-state teacher certifications if that teacher now lives in Oklahoma and wants to teach a public school. The bills aimed at charter and virtual charter schools include a rule change to who can sponsor a charter school, another bill would limit the amount of per-pupil funding for students who attend virtual charter schools, other bills focus on limiting how much money schools can spend on advertising or on private vendors. And that's your recap of this week at the Oklahoma Capitol. Be sure to like and share this video so you and your friends can stay up to date on the issues that impact all of us.